Hey, it's me, Uncle Mike. Um, I just kind of wanted to do, uh, I was driving, as you know, I drive a lot, and uh, I was on up on the Highway 70, which went by the airport, uh, and I also have a little bit of 270. Um, just some of the homes that you could see right from the highway. Here's the shot. Um, it's kind of somber, and uh, my heart definitely goes out for everybody down south. Uh, we are so blessed here that we didn't lose any life, and as of uh, today, the 28th, uh, um, there's like 250 people that uh, have lost their lives. So, yeah, if, uh, if anybody can donate, please do. And always thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll have another video up soon. Thank you. I'm going to show you some, uh, some of the tornado damage. So you can see it blue tarps there coming up right um, now the subdivision got hit pretty hard you should never be able to see those uh, trees kind of or see the houses through the trees here comes some stuff uh, Yeah, things are just gone. Here, uh, coming up, uh, something real interesting. If you didn't know, a bunch of trees down. Debris all through, uh, through the, uh, the trees. Coming up, this, look at this building. It's like the explosion went off the back wall. Two different spots just kind of blew out. And up, up, uh, up ahead, you can see it's uh, Lambert Airport and uh, the control tower, which the tornado must have been like right on top of it. Goes to show you how strong those uh, control towers are. Little cemetery thing, big old tree knocked down. Missouri National Guard, and I don't know if you can see that building over there. Uh, they're saying that $10.1 million in damage to their facility, um, which is pretty, uh, pretty expensive. Which I guess the federal government will have to pay for it. Being a federal building, it's all federal, you know, self-insured. But um, hopefully you can see the Lambert Airport, all the windows are all boarded up. It's pretty wild.